Hi there. Uh, the purpose of these videos and the reason I started doing them is the hope that people learn a bit more about art and you know basically get more confident to try art and have a go at doing some of them by themselves or for themselves. And to teach people to do this I've sort of broken it down into simple things or, or gone back to the, the, the sort of into certain key areas so we've done the the uh, line, the stick man, uh, the doodling, and introduction to colour. Uh, the stick man was, if you remember, was about sort of expression, but tr 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 so to try and get line, colour, and expression to kind of work these things together. But also, it's about people who are probably stuck at home because of the restrictions on movement, uh, trying something or perhaps learning a new skill. So it might seem odd because we're stuck at home, but I wanted to try or take us in a new direction today and start looking at landscapes. And I say I, it might be strange to start with the landscapes because obviously, well, nearly, well, most of the people watching this will, will probably be in some form of restricted uh, movement. Um, but <laughs> landscapes aren't just what we see when we're on big country walks or you know, going along beaches and things, they're, they're, they're all the things, the buildings and everything we see around us. So I thought one way to start looking at landscapes is literally to see, look at a, the view we can find, and the view we can find might be literally looking out of our front window. So we'll start with a view from a window. So before I get on to actually today's exercise, or this session's exercise, I want to start with you off with a warm-up. Now, if you've gone through this, you, you probably remember the first one we ever did was a doodle where we sort of imagine we're on the phone or we're chatting, we're just kind of drawing random shapes. I kind of want you to do a similar thing now, um, probably for a, a few minutes, but this time I want you to sort of draw geometric shapes like circles, squares, ellipses, rectangles and so on. And just randomly generate them in your mind or on the paper or on the, you know using the pencil on the paper and they don't have to really mean anything but just try different sizes different angles and so on and uh, basically to get the hand going and also just to sort of think of how many sort of shapes two-dimensional shapes uh, you can kind of draw so if you kind of do that now that'd be great and then when you've done that I'll well I'll start on the next part of the exercise and when you've done that, you can kind of do the next thing, which I'll explain in a moment. Okay, so basically here now we have a square, it's an A4 square, which I've just filled with random shapes. And uh, even though they're random, you know, the circles, sorry, circles, triangles, squares, whatever, even then something happens and it becomes something more kind of real. But the point is, it's just, it's just a warm effect size drawing just a load of random shapes okay simple shapes which you can pr all draw so now what i want you to try now is draw a view from a window now to do this i've simply downloaded a picture i googled view from a window <clears throat> obviously not many people look over the alps but I'm just using this as an idea. I mean, this could be a cityscape or whatever, but ideally it's your own view from your own window that you see. But I'll demonstrate it with this view, with this image to give you an idea of what we're actually going to try and do. So this is the random window that I downloaded, okay? Um, what I've done is I've just drawn that area and then I've redrawn that as a bigger rectangle okay so I'm ignoring all the kind of windows and the fenestration and stuff um, and just going for this square now you can measure that or scale it or whatever it's just it's ideally it's roughly the same now what I'm going to do now is draw this and then I'll but I'll do it on a time lapse and then afterwards I'll come back and explain what I'd like you to do Okay, so what I have done is, and I did it in pencil first, um, is I've basically 
drawn the shapes I can see on there. So the first ones I did were these rectangles. Okay, so now everybody can draw a rectangle, and we just did that in our warm up. Um, and then I did the sort of triangles, but these sort of slightly more elliptical angled shapes down here, which are the trees. And then I did the cloud, and then the smaller parts of the clouds where there's more diversion. Then I did the big mountains, and then broke them down into the lights and the dark areas, and eventually the cloud and the blue sky. Now, it's abstract, there's no detail, and that's exactly what I want, but it's proving to you that at this stage you can look out of a window, or you can look at a view, or you can you know, copy something out of a magazine, it doesn't matter, and you break it down into simple shapes which you can draw. Okay, so that is part one, so to speak, and tomorrow I'll film the second part of this, is what we'll look at views again perhaps out of windows or whatever and we'll uh, we'll experiment more and see how we can keep those breaking them down and making them as simple because the basics of learning something like this is like learning a language you don't start with the most complicated things you start with the basics and the basics all views landscapes you will ever see will be made up of simple shapes so go away have a go or you know, have a, have a have a try at it, and uh, tomorrow or later on, we'll try a slightly more complex version. So this was the basics and the starting of part one of looking at landscapes, which you know, hopefully, you can learn and get on and start doing. So please try this these exercises, and then, as I say, in the next um, part of this, we'll develop this theory and uh, to go go more with it and see where it leads us to. Um, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and please share it, like it or whatever you, you want to do. <laughs> and uh, see you again soon. Bye.